Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How y'all doing today? Ready for your relationship read, the me, them, us reading? Oh, you know what? I forgot one of my totems just uh, realized. Uh Uh-huh. Because we're doing Pisces, and there are two goddesses that sit in the throne of Pisces for me, one for each fish. Diana, mother of all, and Circe, the great alchemist, turning men to pigs since the Bronze Age. Turning them back is so much harder. <laughs> Devolution or evolution. Um, so I bless the decks for you all, by the way. Welcome back, my subscribers. Thank you so much, my Pisces and fishy families. I am a Pisces moon. I just had my birthday on this past full moon. Well, it was September 6th, but the moon was a, a, a week later. It's Virgo on Pisces moon. So I, I love that break in between my Venus and Libra. <laughs> <laughs> then the Pisces moon. It's in the very impersonal. I know I'm probably going to be in this one, though I ask them, please be merciful for me that I don't see it at least until I uh, do the edits, right? So uh, if you're new to my channel, I am your reader, Mark A. Lyons, for the moment. I hope you enjoy this. hope you get something truly helpful out of this while my boys are doing gymnastics. Oh, a pause under the door. So cute. It's the kitten. The cannonball kitten. Big boy. Uh, so my cats may be distracting, but that's okay. Pisces, we're okay with that. We're going to go with the flow. Oh, so if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Share if needed, as necessary, because I'm having a field day doing this. And it truly is my soul's journey right now to do this and really get better and better every time I do it. Right, I know what it's about. Let's serve the collective here, you 12th housers. <laughs> All right. Let's dive. Uh, We're going to be doing three lines of information. The first horizontal line will be for you, the Pisces Collective. The second will be for the them in this uh, us-me-them relationship. The third line will be the us, right? Both of you together, me plus them equals us. But we're going to build each line vertically. So we're going to take uh, one from each of the five decks that I use. So there being that there are three rows, each time five is 15. There are only 15 cards in this deck. Won't be using clarifiers. If I do clarifiers starting this next series that I do, I will be doing them in extendeds on Vimeo.com because I've had a Vimeo channel for ugh, three and a half years now or something. And I can do video on demand and I will keep the prices. Like if I go over 10 bucks, that means that there's an hour of reading there, right? But pretty much I'm probably going to keep it around five. Uh, You know, keep it accessible. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. The ring. Uh, So all of the cards uh, that I'm working with, all the decks are listed in my description box below. As a Virgo, I really try and fine tune that description box as often as I can. Keep it current. I even have a PayPal me link now. You don't even need a PayPal account if you want to send me a little tipsy whipsy. <laughs> Always helpful. Buy me a pack of cigarettes, a tank of gas, <laughs> some Carvel. Oh, there's a Carvel right around the corner from me. God help me. Yeah. Oh, anything with Reese's Pieces or peanut butter in it, I'm good. Shall we? Let's dive in. No, 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 no. I'm not playing that game anymore. Once I ask if something pops, that's fine. There we go. <laughs> my collective pantheon of angels gods and masters and higher selves for all involved please one card what is the archetype the dominant archetype for this pisces collective sun moon rising venus sign relationship for the remainder of september 2019 oh the don juan we're coming right out of the gate with some heavy seductive energy now it's true <clears throat> i say it every reading I don't like to tell right off the bat whether or not this is a romantic sexual one. And that remains true here because Don Juan is not always about sex and romance, it's about seduction. (coughs) So think salesmanship, right? Seduction in both its light and its shadow. So we'll tune to that when we get there. Uh, Let's get the other, please, the them. My pantheon, same thing, the them. In this Pisces Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun relationship, for the remainder of September. 2019. This one. Ooh, the gambler. The Don Juan and the gambler. Sounds like a fun weekend. All right. <clears throat> on a on a warm summer evening, train bound to nowhere. Hermes. He's my eternal DJ playing songs in my head. Ugh, my associative mind really now. Let's get one for both y'all because it's. <clears throat> Me plus them equals us. Please show me the us, my collective pantheon. Same thing. What's the dominant archetype here in the overall relationship being developed in both of them out being alchemized from lead to gold through this relationship? 
this Pisces collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign relationship for the remainder of September 2019. <laughs> the bully. All right. No, not what you think right off the bat. Yes, we all know what bullies are. <clears throat> Come on, the bully is scriptural, right? Doesn't go back to David and Goliath. Not the claymation series. That was a little twisted. <laughs> Gee, Davy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Goliath. <laughs> Let me read these. Sorry, I totally got distracted by my childhood flashback. The Don Juan and its light uh, spotlights your positive seductive qualities. Yes, there are positive seductive qualities, often for yourself, right, to feel seductive. It's a really healthy energy when it's in balance with what your ethics, right, because what's the shadow? Using the power of romantic attraction for private agenda, right? You know what I mean. It's like you're, you're giving them kiss and picking their pockets at the same time. <laughs> Not good, right? So keep in mind, you've got a seductive soul power going on here that you're alchemizing from lead to gold. The gambler, light attribute, willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. So powerful. Uh, but the shadow attribute, relying on luck rather than hard work, right? So really, a Don Juan and a gambler, they may well be willing to take the the gamble with you regardless of the relationship pattern or form. Um, but keep in mind, they may rely more on luck than hard work, right? They're hoping they, they may be hoping they luck out. So that's something that they might actually have to take action and make this relationship work regardless of whether it's romantic or familial or work-oriented or any of that. But you see, the overall relationship is about y'all getting over your fears, right? The bully is always about fear. So in its light attribute, highlights your tendency to intimidate others. So uh, maybe you're both intimidating each other and being really cool about it, Piscean, right? We're not, though we are, I'm a Pisces moon, though we are very emotional and sensitive, doesn't mean that we cannot put up dolphin when we're feeling shark, right? Guppy when we're barracuda, barracuda. Shadow attribute conceals deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse. Now look, if there is verbal or physical abuse, I don't care what your situation is, walk the fuck away. It is a contract canceler for me, neglect or abuse. Now look, we all make mistakes and if someone owns up to it and really is willing to put the work in, which would feel more like the gambler here, but if you're on the sneaky stinky with your seductive energy here too, that could be you kind of not dealing with your own fears that intimidate you, right? Helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. So here you are, Don Juan, right? It's like, let me tell you more about your eyes. I don't know why I'm doing Antonio Banderas. Uh, and then we've got uh, the gambler. Yes, I still because I still have a thing for Antonio. Antonio, right? So the gambler, yeah, shake the dice, steal the rice. Let's see what's going on here. Just don't make me work too hard for it, which they may have to anyway. And what does that work about most likely? Intimidating yourselves and others, right? Being aware of that and healing that because love does conquer all. <clears throat> and all relationships essentially are about love at the end of it all doesn't matter if it's, you know, familial love, paternal love, fraternal love, romantic love, erotic love, true love, twin flame love, soulmate love, so many different categories, but there's really only one love, the divine from which we come and to which we are returning rather rapidly, it seems, and not through death, but through truth, of course, and miracles. My angels, please clarify for this Don Juan archetype, this Pisces collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign in this relationship for the remainder of September 2019. Freedom! Pull down to my freedom. You gotta give for what you take. Because when you shake your ass, they notice fast that some mistakes were built to last. Oh, I hope George Michael is one of my spirit guides because he can visit any time. It's so hot. Still is, I bet. I bet his soul is still hot. Sweet. I digress, please. Same thing, my angels, for this gambler in this Pisces collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign relationship for the remainder of September 2019, please. 
what's going on with this gambler for the remainder of September 2019? Dreams. <laughs> dreams. Dreams. Now, dreams, either the sleepy nocturnal, you know, subconscious vomit kind, the stress reduction, REM, the world is collapsing around our ears. Or they're dreams, life dreams, that they're taking a gamble on a dream coming true. Very possible. So please, let's clarify that, my angels. One card overall for the Pisces Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign relationship going on here in this spread for the remainder of September 2019. Focus. Now focus on what? We don't know. We're going to look. But perhaps focus on the inner fears that are bullying you and focusing on if you're actually intimidating each other and how to take that down a notch, all right? Because intimidation ain't love, right? And if love is the answer, there's interior work needing here to be done probably on both sides. Let's have a look-see, look see The gods, please. Oh, Diana and Cersei could not be more perfect for this kind of reading. I can feel it right now, please. <clears throat> One clarity for your Piscean collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in this relationship for the remainder of September 2019. Please give us a clue, a tip, a hint. Whoa! Hanged man. Now, I love the water element in here, which you don't often see in, uh, in the hanged man. In this deck, it's called reversal, which means voluntarily turning yourself upside down to see it differently. And look at the face that's hanging versus the face in the water. One has eyes closed, the other has eyes open. So that might very well be a surrender, a release, a hanging out, a going within, and looking within with open eyes. Open your eyes, and then open your eyes again. Terry Pratchett. We free men? I think that's we free men. I love Terry Pratchett. Miss him terribly. I hope his daughter really does the best that she can, and I pray for her. That, that his dreams, her dreams, their dreams continue to manifest, speaking of dreams, right? So, uh, same thing, my goddesses, uh, my mama, Mama Moon, my Mama Diana, and Cersei, my seductress, my enchantress. Please, one card here to clarify this gambler archetype involved in this Pisces collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign relationship for the remainder of September 2019. Top card. Okay, conflict. That they're in conflict. You know, what they're in conflict about, you know, a dream coming true. If it's that, you know, they're having conflicting dreams. Well, which means that they have two dreams also that could be in conflict with each other. But what I love about this card, right? Only one dragon feeding the flame. Only one lesson to be learned. Uh, this does feel like internal conflict more than you two are in conflict about dreams. But with that gamble here, do I, don't I? Do I toss the dice now? Do I wait? Do I reserve and never toss them at all, right? Do I take the chance or don't I? Um, particularly because the amount of work it takes to make a dream come true. Maybe in the shadow, the scambler ain't ready for it right now, but doesn't mean that they won't be. So let's find out. Diana. I see you, Diana. I need to watch that Wonder Woman movie with Gal Gadot a hundred more times to even be close to being satisfied. Diana, <laughs> made them laugh. Diana, Cersei, please, uh, one card in the overall here for this Pisces Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign relationship for the remainder of September 2019. Right here we go. Okay, two of flames, right? Not indecision, but a real juggling back and forth of what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Well, I want this, but I want this. I want this. I want this, which actually matches this card of conflict pretty well. But you're the one who's at least taking the major arcana, arcana, the major arcana uh, stance of let me go inside. Let me, let me chill. Let me hang out a little bit. Let me introspect. Let me look in. Let me wait on the will of heaven, wait on guidance and grace. The guidance and grace of the gods who know the divine plan and have your highest good, your highest potential. But, you know, think about highest potential. It's work to, to manifest your highest potential, whatever that may be for you or in this relationship in general. Let's have a look and see what the masters have to say. Please, my masters, one card of clarity for this Piscean collective sun, moon, rising sign, Don Juan in this relationship for the remainder of September 2019. 
Well, you got the lovers. All right, so there's our first indication of something overtly romantic. <laughs> now, if this were the lovers in the tarot, I'd say, oh, major life decision, life changing, trying to balance the head and the heart. But this is not tarot. This is the Chuck Spazano love pack. So that's definitely not talking tarot, the lovers. That's talking about the lovers, right? That, that you know, you're free. You're free to introspect. You're kind of putting your Don Juan positive qualities, kind of fine tuning them a little bit because you're probably very much in love with this person. Just saying, that's what I'm feeling. You may not be showing it, but one of them fish in there swimming around the aquarium. Your interior aquarium, the next book, next ebook, my market links, <laughs> Professional Witch, one of 10,000 ebooks I'm thinking of writing. Not really that one, though. Please, my master, same thing with this gambler with dreams and conflict. God, I feel that right in my solar plexus. Ugh. Oh, please, one card of clarity for this gambler in this Piscean Collective Sun and Rising Venus sign relationship for the remainder of September 2019, that they're trapped. Yeah, 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 that they're trapped. The key is actually within reach, that they are trapped. So sort of like the uh, the writer weight deck, um, nine of swords not that this is the nine of swords this deck is not tarot based at all that there is a mental prison that that they're in their own fear their own conflict that they are trapped in this conflict maybe unable to take the gamble as far as they see it that they are really in conflict i think you're presenting something to them brand new to them that it's not like, you know, it's not like blackjack or poker or roulette. They know the rules. There may be new rules here for them that they are, that they're like, uh, trapped. Or perhaps they're trapped in a situation that they just can't play. And they very much want to make their dreams come true and take the risk. But there's a conflict playing out in their life. Um, and then that really that two of flames that, uh, we don't know what we want to do with this makes sense. Um, so let's look at this. Uh, please, my masters, overall for this Piscean relationship, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. For the remainder of the month, what's going on with this bully archetype relationship with focus and two of flames for the remainder of September 2019? Second time this is card. This card has come up in this position. It just came up for Capricorn. Uh, yeah, I did Capricorn this morning. So yeah, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, my last three. So you might want to have a look see. Oh, looksy dexy at the Capricorn one. Uh, regardless of your placement, you don't. If you don't know about the other in here, because this is in the exact same position, pain that there is pain here. Now, was the pain in place before you two met? Before this all started to happen, um, my sense is that it is. Is that there's something in place here for this gambler that they are trapped and it's causing you a great deal of emotional and mental, in other words, psychological pain sorry to say it but there it is hence the indecision hence the focus on <clears throat> you have to focus on what it is that both of you want here but you're both dealing with that bully archetype kind of scaring the crap out of yourselves intimidating each other and being bullied by your own internal fears this is a really good for a pisces though because what a perfect setup for your own emotional healing but only you can heal you on that unless the two of you really sit down together and, and be honest. There has to be that risk of being honest because I really feel the conflict of them really wanting their dream to come true with you. You may not be able to, you know, so many partnerships are in this right now. And that's why I'm gonna start talking about the true lovers. Uh, I'm gonna do a clarifying true lovers uh, video to explain what I mean by true lovers. Um, because it's a higher dimensional manifestation into physical form, which y'all will be really into, I'm really into it what it takes oof. believe me it's worth the price i'm still in process of transforming myself into a true lover so you got to be a true lover to bring a true lover you just have to wait for that video which i'm going to be doing right after this probably today once in a while these are all like uploading and editing and whatnot so last three cards down my collective pantheon of angels gods masters and the higher selves of all involved please a whisper of love for this piscean this Piscean collective sun moon rising Venus sign in this relationship first September uh, 2019. We've got a Don Juan with freedom and reversal, the hangman with the lovers. 
What's going on here? Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Lovely. Very dolphin. If I was going to have a support animal, I'd want it to be a dolphin, darling, but you've got to keep it in water, otherwise thin flop. Mm. Be supportive. You can be supportive in your freedom. You can even be introspective and be supportive in your freedom. But that send this person love and maybe tone. Well, I get the thing. If you've got that Don Juan seductive energy going on and you know that your scent is in their nostrils, so to speak, that there is some real chemistry here, but they're trapped. How merciful is it to seduce somebody you know, while they're trapped. Well, but sometimes, uh, I'm not saying that the gods use us as bait to help people move out of situations, but that's a situation I'm into. So don't try and be the bait. Just be you, but be supportive. Say, it's okay. You're All that rises falls, right? This too shall pass, and I'm here, regardless of whether we're lovers or friends or whatever. I love you. Hang in there. It's fine. You're trapped. It's not the end of the world. Take the risk when you're ready, right? Because you're free. <laughs> you're, you're free. You're doing your thing. You're building your business, making your life good, right? I get that as a Pisces. It's exactly where I am. <clears throat> so let's have a look. See, at this gambler, now that I got a nice piece of personal chunk dropped down on the table, now I really want to know. Please my collective pantheon of angels gods masters and the higher selves of all involved please one card <clears throat> to represent the whisper of love whispers whisper of love great deck for this gambler with the dreams and the conflict in a trap please some guidance some grace a whisper of love for the other in this Piscean collective sun and rising Venus sign relationship for the remainder of September 2019. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So the gambler has to actually take the risk of loving themselves, of loving the trap that they're in, which Yes, makes no intellectual sense, may even be counterintuitive, but the thing is, it's like, I'm not trapped here because I'm being punished. I'm not moving on because there's something that needs to be alchemized from lead to gold, something to be forgiven, something to be embraced, something to be loved so that I can move out of this trap, right? So love can help heal past hurts you got to love those hearts as they come up without being possessed by them. I know, tricky shit. Uh, for the cross-watcher, if you're cross-watching, uh, a sense of security, self-worth, and importance because, you know, your love is important, cross-watcher, <laughs> gambler. The world needs as much love as possible right now. I get you're trapped, but practice love while you're in this trap, loving yourself, loving the situation. And you don't have to feel it. You just have to mean it to go. I don't know what this is about, but I'm willing to love, right? I accept that I do not know how to love any of this. So I call upon the higher powers, <laughs> call upon the divine light of the universe, whatever your higher power is, to love this through me, to use me, to do it on my behalf for the well-being of all that I am now. And so it is, right? Bam. And then you chill. And maybe that truth key just unlocks and you're out. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> so let's do this overall then. Last card down. My collective pantheon of angels, gods, masters and the higher selves of all involved for this overall piscean collective sun moon rising venus sign relationship that has the bully archetype the card of focus focus on what we're thinking the inner fears here the intimidation factor um the two of flames here with that creative kind of juggling back and forth fire in your hands probably a lot of passion going on here but not knowing how to express it or deal with it because it's it's either causing great great pain we're bringing up great pain for each individually that may have nothing to do with the other person. It might just be cellular stuff that needs to come up. Emotional baggage, considering we're talking Pisces here, which we're clearing for the collective. We're all clearing for the collective. <coughs> this uh, emotional pain, perhaps of separation. I could feel that this is a relationship perhaps in separation. So please, a whisper of love for this Pisces collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sun relationship for the remainder of September 2019. 
see when I, when I go, oh, did I turn it? No, it's the same image on both sides, but the card is, I love you. These are very important words. I love you. I love you. Is that what's not being expressed here? Love makes a difference here and be supportive. Just to say, I love you. No strings attached, no expectations. I love you. To what's rising up, to the pain that's what's rising up inside of you. I love you. All right, they're telling me do the horizontals. So here you are, Don Juan with freedom. Hanged man, right? Reversal. Hanged woman <coughs> in this uh, deck. All right, daughters of the moon. Seeing things differently, you're free to do that. You've got this intense seductive power. This person, you seduced them. You might not even have been trying. In fact, sometimes the less we try to seduce people, that archetype just takes over because you love them. They love you. This is a lover's thing. And all you have to do for the rest of the month is just be supportive. It's okay. It's okay. I get it. If you let me know what you need, I'll do what I can. Um, but if this person is trapped, they may not even be able to communicate to you what they need because they don't know. Just saying. Uh, for the other, we've got the gambler here with dreams. I mean, this is their dream come true. Even though there was a dream come true card that could have came up here in the, the love pack, it came out as the trap. Why? Because they're, con they're conflicted. They're conflicted about making this dream come true because they'd be trapped. But love makes a difference that they need to start integrating love. What? By saying I love you, like I said, to love whatever this thing is because it's they're being, oh, they're being held in the crucible for transformation to uh, to happen. Now, what is a crucible? Yes, it's an Arthur Miller play, the crucible about witch burning or a little close to home for me personally, Salem Witch Trials, even though I live in Long Island, uh, but that it is the thing in a kiln or a furnace that holds the thing in place to be transformed, right? Smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> Raised by a teacher. Because uh, the overall relationship here is this bully archetype, right? With focus. Focus on what? We'll get that. You're like, oh, we love each other. We want to be together. But uh, we, what do we do with all this sexual energy? What do we do with all of this if we can't be together? Because that's creating a lot of pain that may be necessary or unnecessary, led to be turn to gold, healing, emotional stuff that needs to come up. But I love you, those words. Really, go go watch some Matt Convids, both of y'all, right? Just love. You don't have to mean it. Sorry, you don't have to feel it. You just have to mean it. Like, you're going to wait until you feel it before you say it. Mm. Say it to yourself. I love you. Send it through the ethers. Send it from cord to cord, from chakra to chakra. I love you. I love you no matter what you say, no matter what you do. That doesn't mean we're going to disrespect each other. That doesn't mean we're going to be toxic. We're going to do our best. But I love you from soul to soul. Whatever your personality, your ego, your body, your finances, any of that is going through from soul to soul. I love you because there is great potential in this relationship for a dream to come true. So my fishy brothers and sisters, Though I may be a Pisces moon, believe me, I got an eighth house. Oh, I can feel and heal the collective. I do on the regular <laughs> every day. So I understand. I feel for you. Reach out if you need help. Go read the description box. Click some links. And should you need my help, please do reach out. But for now, my sweethearts, you're my last reading. I always do tend to save the best for last. I love you. I love you. I love you. But for now, hail, farewell, and blessed day.